Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Um, I'm on a four game losing streak at the moment. Maybe we don't play Urashino today. Maybe we try to go back to other openings that I still don't completely understand. Or maybe I try Central File Rook again. I don't know. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Wait, what's that? Okay. That's content right there. Couldn't tell you what, but um, something happened there. Primitive Central Rook. Okay. Spiffy. Alright, let's get this forward before the bishop plays a role. Let's set a subtle trap. Are they okay, they didn't leave it hanging. Oh accelerated central rook. Okay. Yeah, I've heard primitive and I'm like, what is this? Um I mean I get that I just dropped the rook here and I didn't do much else. Um, but this does seem to transpose... Well, I don't know. I don't know openings. What am I talking about? Um, so... Uh, let's push this edge pawn. Even though my king sits over here. Let's drop the rook back so there's no silly fork business. Or no promotion here sort of thing. Okay. They're threatening to bring the bishop out, so I'll cut off the bishop. Um, so, yeah. In positions like this... Um, uh, I've seen some players remark that, well, it's not clear how you make progress. Boo-hoo. <laughs> like, I have no idea what I'm going to do next here. But you don't see me complaining. Um, I could complain, but, like, what's the point? I managed to survive the opening, and that's great. Do I have any idea, like, where the opponent's going to make a weakness? Not really. Um, but I'm just careful not to bust up my own castle just yet. Yeah, I'm annoyed that the opponent hasn't made an obvious weakness, at least as best as I can tell. But, uh, you don't, like, okay... I have to play the game now. Darn. What a horrible fate. Now they got this clump of generals right here. Which means those generals can't defend these squares. And those generals have a hard time defending these squares. Even though there's a bishop right there. So... We're going to try to attack on these squares. And they'll probably just drop the pawn here. Uh, it's going to annoy me, but... Oh, what the hell? Are you serious? One, two, three, four. Um... Okay. So... The concept here is they don't want me to have a pawn on 5-5. Five, five. Um, 
But they'll have to do some fancy maneuvering to prevent me from keeping this here. The whole point of the knight covering the bishop's head and the pawn covering this is that I can, like, sustain this indefinitely. And the opponent's got to find a different way in. I'm not letting this go. So... Yeah, if they could push two pawns at once or something, they might be able to bust this up, but... Like, I... Just don't see them breaking this down, at least not immediately. Um, now, is dropping the pawn here even the best move, or do I have something better? I'm not sure. But this looks pretty good. I drop this, and I go back to pushing here, and then they'll just drop a pawn out here somewhere, and then find a way to attack it. That's the plan. And if they cut that off, then we push on the edge file, and that won't work either, and we'll find something else. Um, if I'm not crazy, the only move here is silver back. Like, yeah, you could push this pawn, but that's weakening. Okay. So I go back. What was the follow-up? That's the follow-up? That's the earth-shattering kaboom? Um... Alright, I could push on this file, or I could just take this pawn. If I push once, if they defend this, if I push again... They could drop here. I could push a third time, because my bishop protects that. But it's best that I just take this, and my opponent doesn't have an attack. So uh, I'll just take this, even though my rook's not active. I would rather have an active rook, but I can't have everything I want. So we'll just, there we go. And then we go back, and we still have this point. And if the opponent tries to break it down, we just exchange pawns and drop the pawn down here again. And we do that as many times as it takes for them to like stop exchanging pawns this way, because they lose a tempo every time they do that. Um, so, yeah, do I know how to attack the opponent's position? I still haven't figured it out. Like, okay. I mean, this arguably creates a weakness. Uh, they want to push here. Whatever. We're pushing this. The opponent needs to put something down to stop me. Uh, okay. That is legal. Um... Uh, I don't have any fancy comeback against it, so we'll just continue with this. Alright, that's how they plan to stop me. Not Good not to know. Now I can just push this and take here, or and then drop here. Um, and there's the answer to how we invade. It's just one square at a time. Um... I guess I could drop a knight and then push this. I don't know. That's cool. Why don't I have an awesome fork here? I don't know. Oh, if I push this, pawn takes... I still don't have a fork. Dang. Um... I could drop a knight here. If gold takes, then we drop a pawn and we win the gold. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything better, so let's try this. Gold takes pawn. Oh. I forgot my bishop doesn't protect this point anymore. Oops. Uh, pawn dropped here is interesting, though. That's not good enough. I don't have a perfect attack. How unfortunate. I thought I had this figured out. Whatever. Let's just do this anyway. Um, I still don't know how I'm going to proceed after they move this. Because I was thinking I'd just push this, but, like, it's not easy for me to make progress. I guess I am starting to complain as I'm making progress. They can drop a pawn here and then take this. And it's, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Nicely spotted. Um, hmm, if I take, Lance takes, push, it's premature. Just push this. If gold takes, the gold's loose for one tempo after my knight takes this. Otherwise, I guess I'm threatening to take this and then push. And push and push and whatever. Okay. Go home. Do I take that? I don't think I do. Taking would pin my knight. Alright, let's take here instead. And then win the lance. Okay, that's a lance. Mm hmm. We'll make use of this lance right away. If the bishop retreats, I take a pawn. Yeah, predictably they block, but I could bring the silver out and take twice here. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's legal. I could take this pawn and drop another pawn somewhere. Um... I guess I take this. And then if Lance takes, we exchange and then drop here again. They want to wind up a punch. I guess they'll drop a pawn to force me to bring up my Lance. Yeah. Uh, what to do? Hmm. Man. Well, no. I can't let this sit here. This has got to go. Right, I saw that. This is my idea. And so they could drop another pawn, and I could drop a pawn. Um, and they're going to eventually break through over here. Because I've moved by night.
They could also do knight takes knight. And I exchange and I drop, but then they do something crafty over here. Um, although if they take my knight, maybe I take back, but then the bishop comes up. That's problematic. So it's better for me to take the lance than to take the knight. Um... Or maybe they just do lance takes lance. Why haven't I even... Oh, my rook covers that. Accidental... Whatever kind of subway rook this is... Um, might be happening. So maybe they want to reinforce this, but they don't have time to reinforce it. Okay. That's crazy. So they might consider dropping a pawn um but i was going to drop a pawn up here somewhere or i was going to take this lance and then drop another lance down here and bring my rook over stuff like that if knight takes i take the lance they might drop here i might drop another lance here I have two lances unopposed on a file. Okay, that makes sense. Calming this stuff down. Um, I was getting pretty excited about it. If I take... No, okay, they found the way forward here. That's clever. Do I drop a pawn up here? Sampun. Is that the one and only way to slow down their attack? So the king can come over and take the pawn, or they can move the rook and move the rook and move the rook, but that's not going to happen. Now this pawn's in the way. Why did I do that? I'm just testing fate here. That's all. Yeah, there was no need for me to do that. Remarkably, I'm okay here, as best as I can tell. But yeah, I didn't need to test fate like that. Unless I calculated this all out, which I don't think I did. Um... I saw that them promoting wasn't check, but I didn't see that I was trapping the horse. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. 40 minutes until the reset. <laughs> this game took a full 20 minutes. Or I was just slow. Good luck.
Bishop exchange. All right, how about no? All right, let's do this file. Are they still going to build um, Anaguma Castle? Is that the meaning of this bishop move? Okay, that does not look like Anaguma Castle anymore. Um, I don't couldn't tell you what it is, but I can tell you what it's not. Wait, what's this? I don't need to push this. Um, hmm. Is my rook on the wrong file? So, yeah, I'm still not making any... Okay, well... I was going to say I'm not making any committal moves. Um, I'm expecting this pawn advance because opponents always push this for some reason. This opponent didn't push that, so I can do this. Um... You opponents usually push this when I bring the silver out. I don't know, like, I legitimately don't know if this is a good idea or a terrible idea for me to exchange the silver and now threaten to drop it and take this. Um, further, like, opening this diagonal looks risky. Okay... That's kind of cool. Oh. That's problematic. If I take this, I think I'm fine? We'll find out in a minute just how bad this is, but... On the surface, this looks playable. We've exchanged bishops. Okay. That's some kind of pressure. Um, I have a bishop in hand, and you do not. So, this... Yeah. Uh, okay. They have three attacking, I have three defending. They have nothing defending this, but if I drop the bishop, the silver comes back, but then I push. Then they hit my bishop, then I take the silver and take the knight. It looks fine to me. Bishop drop here. Looks hard to address. Yeah. Nanafun. Yeah, how do they counter this? They don't have anything in hand. So, how do they address this unexpected move? 
Okay. S knight, silver, silver. Knight, bishop. Yeah, I don't know, man. This all looks fine to me. I guess they get this. Oh, right, my rook's hanging. That is a concern. That's legitimate. Um, hmm. They're going to drop something in front of my rook. Alright, let's make some free space for my rook. This is going to get complicated. And I just didn't foresee this. If rook takes, I push. If the rook moves somewhere else, then at least they're not promoting. But, yeah. So, we've created another space for my rook to run to. Um, <laughs> I could go across the rank. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. I could go this way, too. Let's defend the lance and <laughs> have this really odd position. Um, Go Fun. If I drop my silver, the rook advances. Hmm. I thought I had a way in. Apparently, I do not. That's a problem. Um, what now? I need some way into the opponent's position, and I just don't have one. I could drop a knight, gold takes, drop a silver. Okay, this looks ridiculous, but I need some way into this position. Mm-hmm. So you can have my bishop as long as I can get something. Okay, we'll take this knight, because it's kind of menacing. Mm -hmm. So they've dropped the bishop. Uh, I guess we'll take two pieces for one. Or not. Um... Oh shit, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just threw away a piece for no reason. Uh, that's kind of cool. Alright. Um, this pawn is only defended by this horse. So I can do something about the horse, and then I can do something about the pawn. Ah, uh, just kidding. Something. All right. Um. 
We'll keep trying to do something about this, but it's challenging. Well, that's a two-for-one deal, isn't it? I guess not. I can't count anymore. We have too many tactics in this position. If I drop this silver, this moves over. Okay, screw this. Just... There's a lot of tactics here. Horse takes knight. I missed. Um, then my rook dodges, and then my other rook dodges. Fine. If this is what it takes to make progress, then this is what we'll do. They have a knight and a gold, which is kind of spooky. Also, the knight wins my rook. But, um... What the hell? Really? I'll take this deal. Um... Okay. Nifun. We've gone from being completely dead to being not completely dead. Um, this is still bad, but we've seen worse. He's got the whole board in his hand. He's got the whole board in his hand. <laughs> He's got the whole board in his hand. All right, so... What now? What could I possibly do against this? Ippun. Screw it. We'll remove this piece. Okay, and then try to survive. <laughs> uh, I would have taken the rook if I were them, but I'm not them. They can block. Uh, oh. My brilliant plan is not so brilliant. Um... I didn't see that the bishop was defended somehow. I might not, might not be winning this. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, they're playing some good moves. They're playing a lot of good moves. I should have moved the, this to a different square. Shit. 
I got all excited about my idea. Okay, good game. Uh, yeah, they're toying with me this game. It was well played. But, um... Alright. Well, that's so... It's 24 minutes till the daily reset. That should give us time to finish game three. Good luck. Also, what the fuck is with this pairing system, Shogi Wars? Just ask him. We all know that I'm not slated to promote this game. And yet... We are getting some good opponents. Um, Yeah. Well, the last opponent said one, Don. <laughs> Didn't it? Or was I just blind there and it said, like, seven Don? Because that looked like a one to me. Wait. Okay. Interesting. Last guy was three Don? I, okay, I might need to get my glasses checked. Yeah. That would explain something. <laughs> that would explain something. Um... Alright, we're gonna do the speculative rook move again. If they push this... well, and I'm sorry, if I bring my rook over, they can just bring their rook over and then push. Right. Um... Hmm... There's some stupid combination here somewhere. I haven't spotted it, but... No, there's not. There's no combination here. This looks interesting. If they drop a bishop, I dance my rook over, and then this is temporarily hanging. Um, they defend this and then I drop the bishop in turn. At least that's what I was planning. Oh my gosh. Well, um, things are not going to go according to plan then. My plan probably sucked anyway. Should I push this? That can't be right. But if I don't push it, like... This position still continues to not be great. Um... If I bring the rook back and then drop a bishop and sack the bishop and then push... They drop a pawn and my attack ends. I don't have a way to force my way in. Alright, I think this is what I should be doing, because it creates an avenue for my bishop to invade. 
on the face of it, like, this seems to weaken my attack, because they can build the shape that... Oh. I've always favored bringing up the silver and dropping the pawn, but that's not the shape they built. Um, so... This is awkward. Oh, I just let them promote here without consequence. That's great. Yeah, if they drop here, I was thinking rook over and then bringing this pawn up and bring the silver up and using a bishop to join. The bishop doesn't line up. I thought it would hit this and this. It doesn't. So, I'm evicting this rook. Um. I'm so confused. The knight is blocked by the pawn and by the rook. So I'm threatening bishop drop. Um, okay, I'll defend Ooh. my knight. Hmm, what to do now? If I take the knight and take the lance, I'm not sure what my next move is. If I drop a rook, I'm also not sure. Um... Yeah, I think I should use this rook. Oh, this isn't even Mino Castle. This whole time I've been imagining that they built Mino, but they built this other shape. Um, that actually makes this more fun. Um...
If they built Mino correctly, then I'd be spooked. I'd be super scared to play this, but um, since that's not what they built, um, I don't need to be so afraid. If only there were a badge for this. How amusing could that be? Thumpful. Okay, I could... I like... It wouldn't be crazy for me to take the bishop, but I don't need it. Um... Hmm. Wait a second. I missed something. I missed a relevant detail here. Can you spot it? Because they have four and a half minutes to find this move. Okay, they didn't find it. They found something that's probably just as... Wait, I can move up? Oh. Okay. Well, we're moving up then. Um, oh, gold over was not actually, no, gold over was mate in one. They missed it. Uh. Oh, this sucks. This could be worse. Oh, 
Right. Okay. Um. I guess we'll play a legal move. Ipun. This doesn't look great. Oh, they got me. I see it. I missed that. This might be more direct. There's nothing I can do to put up adequate resistance here. Yeah. Like, I can pretend, but... I'm just dead here. Um... 30秒. Yeah, thanks for the game. Alright, well... Um... I don't know what the lesson is. Other than review your games afterward and learn something from them. Um, I was more than a bit surprised to get strong opposition when it's about 3 a.m. Japan time. But what do you know? Anything can happen. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.